Anna Botelho, Gonzalez 31, Botelho is 28. Poliana is taller by three and a half inches, but Pearl Gonzalez will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, back inside to the well-dressed Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. Five wins, one loss. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Pollyanna Botelho. And now introducing her opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist, a professional record, six wins, two losses. She stands five feet four and one half inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Finally, out of Chicago, Cora Gonzalez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog draws the assignment, and there is Ashley Pacone, and a lot of us in the UFC family feeling for Ashley. She was at that Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival and thankfully was able to get home safely. So feel free to send Ashley your positive for thoughts sound, on, on social media or ready? wherever. Fight. But we're thankful to have her here with us tonight for UFC 216. All right, round one here. Pearl Gonzalez is in black. Poliana Botelho in gray. We saw some sharp boxing from Pearl in her UFC debut. And Right away, steps forward. She's throwing some good punches, lands a good leg kick. Right away, she takes it into the octagon. That's her style. She needs to be going forward. She struggled against... She str Ooh. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking, taking effect. Well, you see Pollyanna's a very heavy on that left yeah. leg. And Pearl's landed three hard leg kicks to start this round off. Poor boxer Pearl, even in her UFC debut, did a good job of securing takedown. She just got out scrambled, and that's how she ended up getting in trouble against Cynthia Calvillo. But she does a good job of securing takedowns herself. These are hard knees to the thigh as well. Same spot where she landed those kicks. She was doing so well at range. Maybe she should get back uh, to the striking at distance. But she's beating up those legs yeah. here, Pollyanna. And Pollyanna's getting a real wake-up call here. Well, you see her reaching down, trying to control wrist. Pollyanna's making sure that Pearl doesn't get her hands locked. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to defend if Pearl actually secures the single leg. So she's doing a fantastic job of just grabbing Pearl's left hand and not allowing her to, to lock her hands. Oh, big elbows. The Travis Brown-style elbows from Pollyanna. Pearl's doing a good job with her pressure into the, into the fence. Botelia, five pro wins, all of them by knockout three in the first round. She actually was to make her UFC debut last December against Valerie Letourneau, but that hand injury creeped its ugly head again. What is the nature of that injury, John? She broke her right hand, didn't have surgery, and then broke it again. And Robert Whitaker's always fond of saying there's no better place to break your hand than inside the octagon, but of course when it happens in training, uh, it's hard to bounce back from that. Well, you can't really, you can't really fight that. Even at the beginning of my career, I broke my hand three times between 2011 and 2012. So until you get a, a really good surgeon, someone that can actually fix it, you're going to continue to have these problems. When you had yours repaired, did they have to put a plate in it? Yeah, they put a plate and had to put some screws in my hand because it just kept breaking. And obviously it seems like she might be having those same type of issues. But she's here now, obviously making her debut. And I feel like maybe she needs to have a sense of urgency to get off uh, the side of the octagon. Because even though it may not be much, doesn't seem like much is going on, you're still losing if you're the one getting pressed into the fence. Stop. Looks like Jason Herzog, because Pearl Gonzalez twice grabbed the fence, took that position away from him. Well, it was beginning to be a bit uneventful there as well. Yes. Pearl's doing a good job of landing leg kicks, man. But look at that wide stance by Pollyanna. This is very awkward with her stance. Because she's got a wide stance, but it's not like she's this brutal power puncher. Yeah. There, right away, Pollyanna actually changed the position. Now... She's in control of the clinch here. Yeah, Pollyanna with double underhooks here. And let's see if she can get this to the ground. 
Fight fans, check out the UFC store on your mobile device. Get your favorite fighter gear and more. Shop now and receive 15% off during tonight's fight. Use code UFC216 and start saving today. Pearl turns it around here. That's not something you see very often. Somebody just turn uh, their opponent with the underhook. Us uh, with the overhook, usually you got to try to find an underhook. Pearl Gonzalez is very strong uh, uh, for this weight division. Very big for this weight division. Both of these ladies are. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little shocked with Pearl's success at distance that she doesn't want to keep it at distance. Yeah. But maybe she knows something we don't. I mean, she has a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Pearl needs to continue to try to drive her body to, uh, to her own right, lifting her underhook. That's her escape move right there. The underhook is where she needs to go. Now she's got him on both sides. Either side will work for her to change the position. Those elbows again. Yeah, those will work. She's got to be very careful here. French control time. Almost three minutes for Pearl Gonzalez. Pearl's got her hands locked now. Now she'll finish the takedown. Pauliana needs to lift that lock over. There you go. Had to lift it up higher. It cannot be under your hips if you're going to defend a takedown. Somebody's got their hands locked. Again, short, crisp elbows from Botelio. And we're right back after this. Beautiful. You got water, Coach? Hey, great round. Great round. Sit down. Right here. Sit down. How you feel? Beautiful. Hey, you won that first round on your pressure and your takedowns, okay? Wrestle the hips and thighs. Clear your inside position before you try to move on, okay? You're trying to wrestle through or under hooks, and I need you to clear your inside yeah. position. Keep using. Breathe slow and deep. We're relaxed. We're smooth. We're you have great pressure, okay? Your jab one, your jab outside leg kick is working great. Pummel inside. Roll and look for opportunities for elbows inside, okay? Great first round, though. We took that first round, okay? Off of your pressure and off of those nice kicks. I want to see some more of them. Leg. Yes, I want to see some more of them. Set up, clean and nice, clean and nice. Beat the underhooks before we try to wrestle. Inside position, okay? Nice and relaxed. Beautiful round, beautiful round. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stayed in the whole time. Yes, sir. UFC fans, get your Vegas Strong t-shirts available at UFCstore.com and at all venue retail locations. 100% of the proceeds from the sale will go to the families of victims and those affected by the tragedy in Las Vegas. Round two here, Pearl Gonzalez, Poliana Botelho. Gonzalez wanted us to shout out those watching her tonight on the USS America. Her husband, Javier Kaiser, an active duty officer in the Navy. She's got a lot of support on that vessel. And hopefully they're enjoying the action thus far. Her corner DC liked what they saw out of Pearl in round one. Yeah, they were very excited. They thought she did a good job of pressuring, using her kicks to get into her takedowns. They did want her to actually beat the underhooks before she starts trying to attack her double leg. They said, you're shooting through her underhooks. Try to actually fight the underhook first, then go to get the takedown. And she immediately went back to the takedown again. Uh -huh. this, is, this is really interesting. But, Joe, we talked about it in the break. It was like, how do you score a round where a person is landing so many nice elbows from this position? When, I mean, these are damaging elbows. Yeah. These are damaging strikes. But Pearl does have the control. Right. Just because they're not difficult to land, right? It's not like landing a high kick at distance or, you know, do, doing something that's more spectacular looking. But it comes to actual raw damage, they're clearly the most damaging shots of the fight. Yeah. It's a very interesting point, because I don't think the judge is going to look at it that way, but I think you're right. What's making it so difficult for Pearl to finish these takedowns is her back. Look at how she's bent over at the back. She needs to step in with her right leg, really feed her hips in to the body of Pauliana, then she'll be able to try to get a takedown. But you cannot secure takedowns if you're leaning over at the waist. If you're Botello, all you really need to do is stuff the head and circle to your right, and you would end up in a sprawl position. Chain it together. Pull that single out and give me the double. In my eyes, Pearl's best Pressure damage that. was Pressure done. Pressure that. Bounce it off the thought. Bounce it off the right. Round. I need some more of it. On her feet. Hey, I need some more of it. Bounce her thigh off of that fence so you can get behind it. Bounce out. Yes.